Hey guys, it's me Sydney So I'm back with another video and I really just want to sit down and talk with you guys because right now I just feel so emotional and like I feel like I always feel better when I talk to you guys about things that are going on in my life and like struggles that I have because it's all part of my health journey and um, This is one of those videos that I just want to like Put out there to you guys because I feel like Right now I feel like I'm a failure and like I'm not trying to cry. I just feel like I'm gonna I'm crying um, But right now I feel like I'm a failure because about a year ago like I'm gonna be going to Europa tomorrow morning. So a little bit of backstory a year ago I went to Europa and I told myself I was gonna compete and within the year I made a promise to this girl and where she and I are no longer friends but like that doesn't matter when you make a promise it's more of a promise to yourself that you're gonna compete and that you're gonna do something that you really want to do and you guys know how broken up I was if you guys saw my um I'm quitting video or I want to quit video I think that's what I titled it about quitting a prep and how I decided and why and like I don't regret quitting that prep because I was nowhere near stage ready but it's been over it's been a whole year and I feel like sometimes I'm a failure like <laughs> you guys know I have a fitness Instagram account I have snapchats and I try to show you guys like healthy living and like working towards your goals and <laughs> one of my main goals was this past year to work hard enough and lose another 40 pounds so then I could be stage ready and I wanted to hit 158 for stage so like obviously I wasn't gonna be that year round or anything because I want to be muscular and right now my body looks you know like I'm content with it but obviously like I'm not content with it but I like love myself um and I'm always a work in progress so it's not a big deal but like tonight I was like why am I so sad like what's bothering me and then I realized I'm going to Europa tomorrow which is a thing in Phoenix if you guys are gonna be there and you're watching this and it's like before it's over it's a Saturday and Sunday event and I was excited about it until I realized that like I'm not gonna be up on stage I'm not doing what I promised I would do I'm not doing what I promised I was gonna do to myself which sucks because like I do you guys ever tell yourself that like you're gonna do something and you stick to it and then you feel so good you guys know I've lost 55 pounds like I know I can do anything I'm capable of um I actually retore part of my arm if you guys can see that um, I did hurt myself more but like that's not that big of a deal um, I don't like I know how to like manage my body and stuff but that's not like a big excuse or anything but like I like I just I feel like a failure right now because and I feel like if, it, if I put it in an Instagram post, like, no one's going to understand this. And, like, it's not going to get it out there. Because for me, like, talking about it in a video, even if I don't post this, I don't know if I'm going to or not. It, like, helps me therapeutically. So, like, I'm talking to you guys right now. And, like, I don't want to feel like a crybaby. But, like, I kind of am. But, like, I told myself that I was going to do it. And so now it really sucks because, like, I'm seeing people that, like, always said they were going to do it go up on stage for Europa like they just had check-ins and they posted about it and like I'm so proud of them but I'm not proud of myself and I feel like I'm kind of failing myself right now and that sucks and it's and the thing is like I know that all these things come and go but like it just sucks because I just really really want to be able to be up there on stage and like feel proud of myself and I don't know why I'm talking still but like I don't know so tomorrow I'm gonna actually be at a booth but the thing is like it sucks because like I really want to try competing and I just but I also feel like competing is not for me and that's like my big struggle because like I really want to try it and do it and then like like I've gone through a prep like I've gone through 16 weeks it was supposed to be a 20 week prep and I didn't get to where I needed to be but like I just I feel like if I never do it I'm not gonna know how I feel and like what my real thoughts are on it and like Right now, I can show you guys my body, like, obviously it's not stage ready whatsoever, like, but, like, I'm really happy and proud of my body where it is, like, like, if you would have told me three years ago that my body was gonna look like that, like, I would have looked at you and been like, no, like, it's not, but it does now, and I'm really proud of myself, but, like, I'm really not at the same time, because I feel like I'm failing the promise that I made a year ago, and I don't know, I feel like shit, <laughs> but I just want to talk to you guys about this, because, like, I love you guys, and... This is a huge struggle that I have and like it's not it's not a struggle where it's like 
a hardship in your life or anything but it's like a mental struggle because for me like I was in the gym tonight and like I kept seeing people that look like they compete in like figure or like you know bikini or anything like that they just look like competitors and I know that they're probably getting in their last like workout or I don't know what they do the night before because I never made it to that point but like it just I really want to be proud of myself and I feel like I'm not and I'm gonna stop talking now because like I feel like this video is gonna go too long but <sighs> I love you guys and I like to post these videos because they help me cope and even if I don't end up putting this on my channel it's fine if I do then you guys can understand like what I'm going through and I felt like I needed to cry but like it's weird because I can't really cry unless I'm like talking about something and I I feel weird like talking to myself so I just turn on my camera and I feel like I'm talking to my best friends and you know I just I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful to have you guys in my in my life and like even if you guys don't realize it like my channel is my world it's the only thing that's keeping me sane in college because like I have one really 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 close friend that's a girl here in college and like I'm so grateful for her but like I feel like you guys are all my friends and that's all I need but um god I love you guys so much I love you guys <sighs> I just want to say thank you. I am so close to 15,000 and I hope you guys don't unsubscribe from this video because I'm like 60 away right now and like I love you guys and I'm going to be working at the JC Flex fitness booth tomorrow which is so exciting and I'm so grateful to be able to do that but like I just really wish I was up on stage and I really wish that like I could be proud of myself for having accomplished my year goal but I, I didn't. I failed and... I love you guys so much. Seriously. <laughs> I really love you guys. And this this makes me feel so much better like talking about it. But I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you guys don't follow me on my socials, I promise I'm more positive most of the time if you guys just came across my channel. Oh, I feel so much better now that I cried. Oh my god, but another thing on another note, just like because I, I really don't care if he sees this video. Tonight I was working out and the guy that I was working out next to was actually this guy that I had a thing with in the beginning of the year who I thought was gonna turn into a relationship and it definitely didn't and like it was so sad because like you'd think that that person wouldn't just like drop you and like anytime I'm in the elevator here like he'll put his headphones in and ignore me like it just makes you feel extra shitty like I know it's not me because like I didn't do anything wrong but like it just makes you feel like you're not good enough and then like having this it just all hit me at the gym and like you know it just sucks but I love you guys and I really really love you guys I'll talk to you guys in my next video though if you guys have not liked comment or subscribe to my channel before I would really appreciate it if you guys have not followed me on my fitness account on Instagram I'd appreciate that too um, if you guys live in Arizona and you guys want to go and see me at booth 320 I'll be there Saturday and Sunday I feel so much better but now I'm gonna go and shower because I have the event tomorrow morning and I have to be up in like five hours so I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye babes.